top damn congresswoman facing 357 years in prison for heinous crimes she just committed. Corinne Brown has pleaded not guilty, and now faces a possible 300 plus years sentence if found guilty. It is doubtful that she will be found innocent with the stacks of evidence against her, however, we all know that Democrats are notorious for getting away with any and everything, including murder. Kind of like Brown's good buddy Hillary, seen with her in a cozy best bud pose. It isn't even shocking anymore to see these politicians with shady records or facing charges to be seen wrapped firmly around the head of the snake as we so often do these days. Corin Brown is done for. The people involved with her money scam have already pled guilty and are now working against her with the feds. Why she would plead guilty is beyond me, but then again we never claimed that Democrats were smart. According to Conservative Post Folks, Democrats are corrupted. Democratic Representative Coren Brown is facing more than 300 years in prison. The 69-year-old congresswoman plead not guilty to the charges that could have her locked up for the rest of her life. From Patriot Hangout. The charges are linked to the One Door Education Foundation, a Virginia based group founded in 2011 that purported to solicit donations to help with things like scholarships. Prosecutors say the group was a scam and that most of the $800,000 in donations went to benefit either Brown, Simmons, or the group's president Carla Wiley, who has already pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud and has been cooperating with the feds. Part of the conspiracy, according to the 53-page indictment, involved Brown using her position and influence as a member of Congress to get donors to give money to the group. Brown, Simmons, and Wiley used Brown's official positions as a member of Congress to solicit contributions to One Door for Education and to induce individuals and entities to make donations, based on false and fraudulent representation that the funds would be used for charitable purposes. Read the indictment. Prosecute corrupt politicians no matter what party they are affiliated fault with. Update A federal judge recently denied motions calling for either the acquittal of, or the granting of a new trial for, former District 5 Congresswoman Corin Brown, in effect setting the stage for her to be sentenced on November 16 for 18 counts of fraud. Federal Judge Timothy Corrigan ruled on Wednesday, August 16 that Brown was neither entitled to a new trial nor acquittal on her jury conviction, notwithstanding the arguments of her defense attorney, James Smith. Smith argued before Corrigan that his client had not received a fair trial earlier in the year because one of the jurors had been dismissed after confiding to another juror that the Holy Spirit had revealed to him Brown's innocence. Smith further argued that the prosecution had failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Brown had orchestrated a charity scheme to defraud donors. The judge disagreed with both arguments. The dismissal of the juror was not an action that he undertook lightly, the judge said. Quite the opposite, Corrigan wrote in his 27-page decision, underscoring that he had dismissed the particular juror only after finding beyond a reasonable doubt that there was no substantial possibility he could base his decision on the court's instructions and the evidence seduced at trial. These type of scams hurt our country in so many ways. Economic damage, trust issues, and political party battles are all part of the leftover damage of the actions of people like Brown, the Clintons, Maxine Waters, and many more who are being discovered as frauds and thieves. Clearly not all will be prosecuted regardless of the evidence against them but at least a few finally will be. Brown had best beg for certain luxuries because her stay will be a forever one upon conviction. This won't be a quick in and out stint like Anthony Weiner's bogus sentence. 300 plus years will cause anyone to curl up and want to end it all. She should have thought about never seeing daylight again before she ignorantly plead not guilty. This trial will surely prove to be highly interesting. I wonder how many other well-known politicians will be brought to light as either knowing about it all or being a part of it in some way, in some way.